What's up guys? So I'm currently back in Michigan. Um, came back because it's technically fall break for uh, college right now. And it's about six, almost 6.30 in the morning. And I just hit up Panera Bread to get about half a dozen bagels and a giant breakfast sandwich so that I can get nice and carved up for today's arm session. And yeah, so we're heading back to my house and I'm gonna absolutely devour this food. And I got like two giant cups of cream cheese and I fucking love cream cheese. So I'm gonna eat this food and then I'm gonna catch you guys when it's like later on in the day, you know, so. What's up guys, so, all right, so I'm nice and carved up to the max right now, to the brim, and it is 11.03 right now, so that was about four, three hours ago that I ate, and I'm feeling nice and full still. Um, I also just had a caramel coated apple, and yeah, that sugar is literally getting in my blood so fast. Um, but I had some thoughts and, you know, a lot of the time I let, I let things in my life like consume the fuck out of me and it's not good. And, you know, it's not a bad thing to let things consume you because that means that you're doing a good job of actually thinking about your actions, I guess. But with me, I feel like any small inconvenience I have that makes me like, confused or like question things I just like completely will distance myself from those things and then kind of just feel like shit about it and I don't know if that's like you guys as well like but if one like small inconvenience happens to me I'll literally like distance myself put my head down and then just try to work my shit out in my own head and it's gotten me pretty far like you know, and for the time being, but I don't know how much I can handle doing that. Like, I just feel like it'd be nice to get things off my chest with someone else sometime. But a lot of the time I, I can't really like trust people with the shit that goes on inside my head because I feel like it's almost better to deal with it myself. And that just got really fucking deep for no reason. But yeah, I don't know. That, that's just my thought process of, as of lately. And I don't, I don't think can letting thoughts consume you 24 seven is healthy. So, you know, try to work that shit out if you're going through anything and like, you know, just, just talk to someone, you know, but heading to the gym right now and I'm going to a new gym that opened up near me. I think I recorded here once. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. And I don't think it should be too busy. Hope not because it's 11 and it's a weekday. So most kids are either at college or in school, like high school or some shit. I don't know. We'll see when I get there.
Honestly, okay. So we finished up the arm day and shoulders and for how weird my sleep schedule has been lately, like pretty solid lift. Um, I felt like I got a pretty uh, pretty good little session in there. And um, yeah, it's a perfect day because it's like being out in Arizona, it's always sunny out and you know, it's like, hot and whatever like the Arizona weather is and when I come back like you can see like it's raining out a little bit it's nice and gloomy and I honestly like the gloomy weather because it puts you in like a, a really nice headspace like a like a like a smooth headspace you know what I mean when it's sunny out all the time like who who wants it to be sunny all the time like sometimes the gloom the nice fall weather when it hits just right is the best thing anyone can ever ask for so yeah and i'm gonna go home i'm going to eat a pretty big meal i've been eating around i don't even know i've been eating like the past couple of days i've eaten so much food and i'm already over 2,000 calories today as is so i might have to chill out today a little bit because i can tell like the first place i noticed I get not fat, but um, like a little like chubbiness going is like under my chin a little bit. And I know you guys probably can't tell on video, but like I notice it myself sometimes. So I might have to chill out on the food today, but we'll see where that takes me. And yeah. Also wanted to inform you guys that I am going to be doing the October challenge. So if you guys have not heard of the October challenge, it's basically where you try to make it through every day of October. And I encourage you guys to try out this challenge and let me know what you know, you guys' successes. Um, and yeah, so morale is pretty high, I'd say. 
so far. So I think I'm going to be successful at this challenge. And with that being said, um, I'll catch you guys.